Don't want to involve yourself with this. Empty your pockets now, tough guy. You don't want to see what happens if you don't leave. Come on, what the hell? I will kill you right here. You're done this for. Way.
Where's this shot?
I've got to move. You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Belt III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? Um, oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great deal. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? See, it's a chair full of electricity. Quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Where is it? Well, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration. A public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Can I help you with something? <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. This ain't no nice an electric this. chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you $100 in fees. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. You must be damn stupid if you think you can come back here. Right. 
Bonjour, monsieur. I want to vote. I insist that I deserve the right to vote. Bonjour. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Ugh. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery.
Come on. That's a nice looking horse you have there. Bet it ain't faster than mine, though. Ariel's my pro. Quit it! How about we head to the veteran's homestead? I ain't interested, feller. All right, no problem. No harm in asking.
ready. This is ugly for you. I'll come with you, you son of a bitch. Curse Paul bastard. Every time. <laughs> Take me to damn cork, Ben. <laughs> this ain't America. We ain't free no more. <laughs> Can't raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them that needed marrying. And killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> you know... You ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell you say, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this day professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. You mean? <clears throat> no! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and... Run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You 
represent animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across a pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared, and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. You know, there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, and half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was lightning. The electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Oh, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> uh huh. Me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs> Professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Here, I got him. You're Come wonderful. on, don't be shy now, let's go. Ha, bring him over here. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Uh, oh, well, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, uh, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along.